Hey everyone, Miss Savannah here. So happy to see you back. So I touched on a little bit of information regarding some important information um, that relates to the importance of reading to help with speech and language development and why reading is so important for your child's overall communication development. Um, you can just take a look up there, why it's important, things like that. What I'm going to talk about right now is some tips and tricks that you can use while you are reading a book with your little ones or with your, you know, your toddlers, your preschool kids, elementary kids, or even your older kids to really help improve some speech and language skills. Um, now, starting with little ones, the best thing you can do with them is to just really start describing what you're seeing, describing the objects in the book, the pictures in the book, having them touch the different pictures, like, oh, there's the cow, and have them touch it, point to it. Um, you can work on requesting or using different signs, like if they want to open the book, have them practice using the sign for open, to open the book. Or if you want to turn, if they want to turn to the next page, maybe you can kind of stop them from doing that and like keeping the book closed. And if they're using the sign for more, you can have them use that sign for more to flip the page a little bit. Um, some other things you can work on having them make a choice between books. So, you know, if they want one book or the other, you can have them, you know, point to the book or gesture towards the book, um, using the sign for want or please, or even the sign for book, um, to request the book. Um, and you can even have them imitate different sounds that you're doing, like, oh, book, 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 book. Or if you're seeing different objects or pictures in there, you can have them, like, repeat different sounds, like, oh, the snake goes or the car goes beep beep if you're seeing like a car or something like depending on what's in the book it really doesn't matter as long as if you're just expanding on that language and describing what you're seeing um it's just an excellent way for you to kind of work on those early speech and language skills you know providing that exposure to a lot of different vocabulary um providing them just awareness of what a book does um really just an excellent way for you to just improve those early speech and language skills. Now, for our school age kids, our like you know preschool, kindergarten, you know those that are first starting to learn to read, um, you can really just practice asking them questions because they're able to better attend to those books now. So maybe they're you can ask them questions related to book, like WH questions like, oh, where is this or who is the main character? Maybe not saying main character, but you know who is this person and pointing to the person in the book and seeing if they can remember their name. Um, but don't make it like a huge quiz or anything. You don't want to be asking questions, you know, every single page or every single, you know, opportunity that you have. Just, um, you know, ask questions just a little bit throughout because you don't want to be testing them. You want them to enjoy the reading experience. So ask just once in a while, ask a question. Um, if they're maybe practicing articulation, you can have them like try to find the words in the book that have their articulation sound in it that they're working on. So say that, you know, they're trying to work on producing the letter T, the letter T, the sound T. Um, and, you know, trying to find words that have the T sound in it. And then you can practice saying that a few times. Um, you can even have them practice, you know, identifying emotions. So if it's like a more complex book, you can be like, oh, how does this character feel? Or how does this person feel? Or why do you think that person feels that way? Are you, so are there times when you feel happy, sad, angry, you know, things like that? Um, just really, it's becoming more complex, but having them really engage with the literature, engage with the reading, and you can be doing the reading, they can be practicing the reading, you know, all of that. Um, and even for older ones that know how to read, have them take some time during the day, just 15 to 30 minutes a day, reading, like silently reading to themselves, or you know, they can read the story to you and have them practice just like reading out loud. And, you know, if they're having trouble reading, you can help them read those words that they're struggling with. Um, you can even make it into a game. Like if they, if there's a certain, be like, oh, what's another word that rhymes with this word? Or can you find other words that begin with the letter or begin with the sound k or begin with the sounds that are in the story? Um, just different things that you can do to help promote more engagement with reading, you know, better communication skills, all of that. So I highly encourage you to at least do some reading, you know, 15 to 30 minutes a day with your child, having them do it with you, or you just reading to them, just doing the best that you can because reading is so essential to 
cognitive development, speech and language development, all of that, and really just promoting a great relationship with you. So do the best you can, read a good book, let them choose the book, and enjoy this time together. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.